Joining us here under the pine trees is Professor Andreas Bolte, an expert on forest ecology. What chances do these Scots pines actually have to survive with the climate getting hotter and drier in this area? I think they would have a good chance to survive because Scots pine is well adapted to dry site conditions so they have a good chance to survive under in the face of climate change and it's getting hotter and more drier. Uh -huh. These trees were actually planted to harvest wood very fast and very easily. Would you still arrange a forest like this today? I think the foresters wouldn't do it in, 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 like this now because on one hand there is an idea to have more mixed a forest in terms to have a life insurance against uh, climate change because the different trees have different uh, or different adapted to site conditions and climate conditions so if one uh, tree species would fail another would take over and could f uh, more or less take over also the functioning of the forest. Uh -huh. The fittest will survive yeah. so to say and which tree species would you actually plant here? I think it would be a, a collection or a mixture of different tree species it could be pioneer species like, for example, Scots pine, but it mixed with uh, other tree species, broadleaf species, for example, like European beech or oak species, uh, because they have a uh, different also forest dynamics, uh, different growth dynamics, and so that would be a good good addition to uh, a stand like this here yeah, with a pure I Scots understand. pine stand. And couldn't we just instead leave it to nature to find the vegetation which is best for a different climate? Yeah, we, we could do so, but the problem might be that we then cannot foresee or regulate more or less the, the, the products, uh, the, 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 the timber, which is then uh, will, will come out of the stand at the end. And as you know that uh, um, also the forests have a very important um, function in the, in the climate protection by, by storing carbon. So we need very productive uh, and vital forests also in future. And because of this, this is, would be also one an, an management aim to uh, get this uh, vital and very productive forest. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, better to do with uh, also with ma management because if you think about uh, you know natural development, uh, there could be also less vital or, or less uh, productive species coming in and taking over. But that means the economic aspect, harvesting lots of wood, is the most important one. No, it should, should be balanced. I think both economic aspect and ecological aspect but if you think also about the, the use of timber uh, and then and, and if you have more or less uh, a, a certain amount of timber which can be used for building houses for example instead of using steel or uh, 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 briquettes or, or what else which has a high consumption of energy then you have also um, a good advantage in terms of climate protection. Thanks a lot for the talk Professor Andres Bolte. You're welcome.